Now that we have panels and receptacles in place, circuiting is possible. It's actually pretty easy too. Thing is, without a circuit, you can pretty much forget about populating the panel schedule, that's for sure. Also, Revit's great at circuiting. If we're not going to use circuiting in Revit, well, we could go back to AutoCAD. I don't want to do that, so let's circuit up a unit. Let's zoom in on Office 101. What we need to do is select any one of these receptacles. Notice that we can create a power circuit. Click on Power. Notice up here it says Panel. It's set for None. Let's click the drop down. Let's grab our PP1. Connection type, it's a breaker. Now with this started, let's click on edit circuit. Hold down your control key and start adding these receptacles. In our properties for our load name, just get rid of the word receptacle and it already knows that it's office 101, which is pretty cool. If we scroll down in our properties, make sure everything's good, our wire types, sweet. Let's finish editing circuit. What's cool is if you hover over one of these receptacles now and hit your tab key, it will kind of ghost in our wiring. We're going to spend an entire video on wiring, but notice that you can do that. Again, hover and tab so you can see the wiring. Now what we can do is in our project browser, Let's scroll down till we find panel schedules. We made one earlier. Drill into panel schedules. Let's double click on PP1. Circuit number one, Office 101. Check it out. Close out of here. Let's make another circuit. Select this receptacle. Click Power. Gets a little smarter. It knows that we want PP1 as our panel. It knows that our connection type is going to be a breaker. Now let's click Edit Circuit. Add to Circuit is checked on by default. Hold down your Control key, select this receptacle and this receptacle. Click Finish Editing Circuit. Hover over one of your receptacles, hit Tab, bingo. Let's go down to our PP1 panel schedule and it jumps it over here. I forgot to get rid of the word receptacle, but that's okay, check it out. Just highlight it here, hit backspace. We just renamed our circuit. Now you're getting the hang of how Revit wants to work, right? Pretty cool.